What the hell just happened? I start seeing crazy tweets about all of these amazing players being in concept squads. And we're like, what? Okay, this sounds a bit weird and a bit awesome. And what EA have decided to do is release a team of the group stage for the Champions League, which is epic. We have got some new seriously high rated informs on the game and I wanted to show them to you today. This sort of thing doesn't happen often and oh my god, have we got some talent on, on display here. I'll go through the bench first, then I'll talk to you about uh, the whole starting 11 and then I'll share with you well we need to figure one thing out that's quite important for my road to glory series so we've got an 88 Sanchez which makes me very happy that I sold my 87 just a couple of weeks ago he looks incredible I mean those stats are just phenomenal Willian with all his hard work that he's been putting in he's now got himself an inform that's pretty epic we've got an 88 Godin I've currently got the 87 in my club that kind of sucks for me um, and then an in form position change Douglas Costa that's pretty awesome I don't really care about the silver goalkeeper you guys might but he's of in no interest to me we now have an 84 rated Raheem Sterling that's pretty sick second in form for him Gaitan Zuma's got a second in form Bruma Pjanic looks oh my god look at that card it looks amazing 89 passing overall very very good stuff there Di Maria with the position change out to the right hand side. That's pretty awesome. And then someone that my mate GCI Messi is very interested in is this Zuzuba. Zuzuba. I'm not sure how you pronounce his name. But apparently he's supposed to be a pretty good player on this game uh, and one to look out for. But it gets a bit more spicy than that. When you get to this starting 11, oh my god. We've got Buffon in goal with that inform right now. His stats look pretty epic. 92 positioning. I'll take some of that. Um, this is almost like a mini team of the season or something right now. That's what it feels like. It's awesome. Um, Naldo with the 86. I mean, if he's not already as good as he is... Now he's got that card. Uh, we've then got an 88 Chiellini with the 92 defending, 87 physical combo. And this one. This is just godly, right? Alaba's moved from left back to centre back. He's 86 rated at centre back with 87 pace. Holy shit. I mean, how are you supposed to just... How are you supposed to run by that? You just can't. That's crazy. Um, Isco's got a right mid. A little bit less interested in that because it's a move from a central position out wide. Um, Griezmann, someone I really love on this game with the inform and the 85 shooting. Oh yes, I'll take some of that. Hulk this year is incredible and he's got an 86 overall rating. Damn. Um, we've then got the big guns, right? We'll talk Lewandowski first. This is his third special card right now because he's currently got the purple and the second in form. And now we've got this 90 rated one. Oh my god, that's craziness. Um, followed by Neymar with a third special card. The 91 overall. What's his team of the year going to look like? Is it going to be like 96? Maybe even 97 rated. That would be insane. Um, and then <laughs> Cristiano. 96. Puts him at currently the highest rated player on the game. Higher rated than, of course, Messi with no informs. And now we've got, you know, he's higher rated than Pele right now. And, of course, he'll get himself a team of the year in the coming weeks. And I just... I dread to think what those stats are going to look like. They're going to be insane. And then we have this man right here. 93 rated Suarez. So I've got a bit of a, a bit of a quandary right now. I'm not quite sure what to do. As you guys know, for about a week now, I've been doing a Bite the Bullet series with the 92 rated second inform Suarez. Now, I said to you in the first ever episode, if he gets another card, should I upgrade it to that card? You guys said yes. Uh, I'm yet to see how expensive he is right now, so I don't know when it would change. But I think I will probably change him in the coming few days and upgrade him to that 93 rated card. Unless you guys don't want me to. The only thing really stopping me is how many coins he's going to cost. How many coins I'm going to lose on the first one. Because I'm a bit tight on coins right now anyway. And of course, I don't like just his regular picture on the card. I much prefer the picture on the second in form. So I'm going to leave it to you guys. There should be two comments down below in the comment section, of course. Both by me. Um, one would be, uh, you just need to thumbs up on one of them. You know, one of them would be for me to upgrade to this Suarez with the normal picture, but the better stats. Or do I go for or just keeping the one that I've got and carrying on the series like that. Uh, thumbs up, either comment down below. And whilst you're there, hit the thumbs up on this video. That would be absolutely awesome. Thank you for watching. Go out and pack these bad boys so that they become nice and cheap for me to buy. Um, and uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, boys. Peace.